If we want to change our lives, we're commonly told we need to dream big, make extreme changes, or even consider moving across the world. But what if I told you there's a simple purchase, like this whiteboard, that could lead to profound transformations? Matthew McConaughey himself mentioned this at his commencement speech at the University of Houston, so I went ahead, I ordered the whiteboard, and you won't believe how it changed my life dramatically. As people, we tend to overestimate the impact of making one large individual decision versus underestimating the impact of making small, consistent improvements over time. True change emerges from the compound effect of countless of small decisions and habits that accumulate. Ultimately, we're shaping our lifestyles, behaviors, and our identities. Hey friends, welcome to the Startup Squad. Joe Zeppelin here and you're in store for a very, very special episode. This is our first video in the Productivity Squad playlist where I give a high level overview of some of my favorite books and role models. Today we're going to be talking about how this whiteboard and Matthew McConaughey's commencement speech had a profound impact on my life. I really hope you stay to the end of the video. It's honestly a great system that you should put in play in your day to day. Let's get to it. Now this board right here and these few magnets are going to serve as a visual management tool for us to balance the different personas we play as people. The goal of this is to show how something relatively simple, when coupled with tiny habits, can massively transform your life and make you a healthier and happier person. So there are basically three key insights from Matthew McConaughey's commencement speech that we're gonna talk about. First, we'll delve into the power of defining success and identifying the different roles you play as a person. Secondly, we'll discuss why it's much better to ditch traditional goals in favor of balancing systems. And finally, we'll delve into what Matthew McConaughey calls staying out of the red. So why does defining success matter? Well, it's all about figuring out who you want to become and not doing anything that goes against building that character. For me, success is measured in five pillars that we're gonna put on the board. So these five pillars are the five personas I play as an individual. So my most important is being a supportive family member. So I'm gonna put that on the board here. Secondly is gonna be my physical health, followed by a close third of my nutritional health. Fourth, we're gonna put establishing a nurturing career. And for number five, we're gonna put fostering meaningful relationships with close friends. These are the cornerstones of my life at the moment. Key insight number two is to ditch traditional goals and focus on balancing systems instead. So this is where we're gonna incorporate the magnets. So every day I like to check in with these five things and I go over a rating system that's really straightforward but is incredibly, incredibly helpful. So what you're gonna wanna do is put the numbers negative two, negative one, zero, positive one, and positive two on the top of your whiteboard. These numbers are gonna help us gauge how well or poor we're performing in the various different personas of our lives. For instance, sometimes my career will be thriving. So let's go ahead and put that all the way at a plus two. But my relationship with my family might not be doing so well. So maybe negative two. When's the last time did I call my little sister, or ask my little brother how his stay at school was, or things like these, right? These are the different personas that if we don't keep up with every day, will start to slack. If you let them slack too far, it might be hard to get them back up. Some other examples might be, sometimes my social life will be off the charts, hanging out with all my friends and having a great time, but my physical and nutritional health are starting to slack a little bit. When's the last time I went to the gym? Am I eating not the best foods? Am I not taking care of my body that's gonna make me keep going the next day? Maybe those ones could use a little bit of revamping. So this is a little bit about how the ranking system works, right? So you have negative two all the way up to positive two. Now we're gonna move on to element number three, which is what Matthew McConaughey calls staying out of the red. Now, as you'll notice here, the numbers zero, one, and two are not red, they're black, right? And the goal isn't to be positive two on everything, that's unfeasible. If you were doing great in every single element of your life, to the extreme cause, all the way on the right side, either your goals aren't that high or you're lying to yourself, right? It's impossible to do that for long term without burning out, right? So the goal isn't to make sure everything is a positive two. Positive two means you expect nothing else from yourself, you're hitting all your marks. The goal is to make sure that everything stays in the black, right? So zero, positive one, and positive two. And then when something seeps into the red, meaning you haven't managed it well enough in a long time, that's supposed to be your call to action. 
the last important step is to put this somewhere visual. So for me, it's really weird, but I put it in my bathroom, right? Because I'm always there brushing my teeth and I have nothing to do, nothing to occupy my head when I'm brushing my teeth. So I move these magnets back and forth. Career's doing great. Nutrition is doing okay. Went to the gym a couple times, so we'll move that one over. Oh, I gotta call my little sister. Let's move that one back. And then what's the last one? Friends and social life. Maybe I should be able to do more things out because I've been spending too much time on the business, right? So this is a really simple gauge about how I think I'm doing in each of these elements. It's a really simple tool. Trust me, I've tried everything. I've put the quarterly goals up. I've put the annual goals up. I've put monthly goals up. I've changed it and made it metrics and all this type of stuff. This is the most simple tool that I've actually been doing for the longest. And it's the one that I really like to keep around. So I hope you found something like this helpful. This is our first short video in the Productivity Squad playlist. If you'd like to stay up to date on more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel by clicking that bottom. I think it's down here or down here in the bottom right. And uh, welcome to the team. Like and comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you soon.